Good afternoon, everyone. This is Bremster, um, and I'm coming to you with another video. Uh, yesterday, my time, I did a video a puzzle, which was um, by Riff Clown. This time, I am bringing you a puzzle by Tallcat, who was the other um, person apparently responsible for creating the lockout line rule set. This is not a lockout line puzzle. Um, this is a German Whispers puzzle um, called Rumors. Um, this puzzle was posted to Logic Masters Germany a few days ago, a uh, couple of days ago, and um, yeah, I thought it would be a good one to do uh, to do on my channel. Um, so I've done a bit of stuff with German Whispers before. I actually quite like the constraint. Um, and uh, I've been creating some puzzles with it, some of which I've, I'm very happy with. Um, and uh, doing a, puzzle, a German Whispers puzzle by someone as good as Tallcat, I thought would be um, a very interesting thing for me to do. I have been told this is difficult, but not brutally difficult. So here's hoping. Um, and yeah, um, I will, of course, provide links to the puzzle um, down in the description below, um, as well as to the page on Logic Masters Germany. Um, if you like the, um, the video that I do, please like it. And uh, I will try and do two to three videos a week. So if you want to see more, please subscribe. Uh, but apart from that, I'm going to focus on the puzzle. So this puzzle, um, which, as I said, is called Rumors, has quite uh, really only two rules. So the first thing is normal Sudoku rules. In every box, in every row, and in every column, we must place the digits from one to nine without repetition. Then there are these green lines. These are German Whispers lines. On German Whispers lines, you must place digits, uh, the digits must alternate along the line. So adjacent digits on the line must differ by at least five. What this means on a German Whispers line is that when you place a digit, say you place a, a three, because you can't go down and still um, be um, still be within the digits one to nine, you must go to a digit above five. And five itself can never be on a German Whispers line because if you take five away from five, you hit zero, not a legal digit. If you go above uh, five, up from five, you hit 10, which is also not a legal digit. So um, you can never place a five on a German Whispers line. And if you start with a low digit, the next one will be high, the next one will be low, the next one will be high. So they're the tricks. Um, you've also got um, a lot of limitation on fours and sixes because um, a four, if you look at it, um, you can't go down. And when you go up, you can only place a nine. A six can only be next to a one. So um, they're the things that you have to take into consideration when filling out a German Whispers puzzle. Um, I'm explaining this a little bit more than normal because this puzzle has only given us two given digits and it's only using German whispers. So I, I feel that this is going to be incredibly important. Um, so now the goal is to try and solve this. So the normal thing to do when doing a German whispers puzzle is to try and find if there is a limitation I'm looking at the rows to where you can put a five and five can go in multiple places in all rows. Ah, but column three, however, so you cannot put a five in any of those. So there must be a five there. Which knocks five out of all of those, which puts a five there, which puts a five there. Now that knocks, ah, that five is, so there were only, that five has put a five there. Now it has to be down there and it can't go on the line there. Five is now in one of those two. Five and five, so five is there, so there's no five there. Oh, this is giving us all the fives by the look of it. Must go up there, which puts a five there. I think that's all the fives. Okay, so that's both good and a little scary. Okay, 
So I suppose the next question is fours and sixes. The shape of these lines. So as I said, with a four and a six, you can't put, uh, it can only have one digit beside it. So for example, if I was to put a four here, then because a nine is the only digit that can go next to it, I'd have to put two nines there, and that is blatantly not going to work. So let's, uh, this one seems more constrained than down here. So I can put a four or a six there. I can't put a four or a six there. I can't put a four or a six there. I can't put a four or a six there. I can put a four or a six there, not there. So this is a four, six pair because I can't put it there because there's two next to it. Can't put it there, two in the same column, not 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 there, two in the same column. Down here, four, six, four, six. So I get four sixes in those two. Now, because this is a 4-6, this has to be a 1-9. This is a 4-6, this has to be a 1-9. Now I've got 1-9 in that box. Okay. So these lines continue. So what's... So I can't put a 4, 6 there, there, or there because they have the same constraint. If I put a 4 or 6 there, I'd have to put the same digit in both of those, both of those, both of those. So this is leaving me with four places. That's not great. Well, I can't put a 4, 6 there. Because if I put a 4, 6 there, this would be a 1 or a 9, and there's a 1, 9 pair in the row. So I can't put a 4, 6 there. That's not getting me very far. Yeah, that's not helping. And this row isn't as constrained. What about columns? Like I can put, I can't put a four, if I look at this column, I can't put a four six there because it would put a one nine there and I can't in the column. I can't put a four six there because I'd put it there. If I put a four six, I can't put a four or six there. If I put a 4 or 6 there, it would put a 1 or 9 there, which is fine. If I put a 4 or 6 there, it would put a 1 or 9 there, which is not fine. I can't put a 4 or 6 there because that would do the double up again. If I put a 4 or 6 there, that would put a 1 or 9 there, which I can't do. And this has only left me with two spots to put 4 or 6 in the column, both of which are on line so they have to be one nine and that's now given me a one nine pair in this row is that well, that means i can't put four or six in either of those but i can still put four six in any of those I don't see. So in column two, I can put a 4, 6 there or in either of those, but they're completely unrestricted. I've already got this. 
Like I can't put a four six there. I if I put a four I can't put a four six there. If I I can there, I can there, I can there, I can there. Yeah, no, this is not going anywhere. Thing is, none of these lines are long enough. to do very much. So I've got more information on this side of the grid, I think. Um, like, I can't put four, six there, there, or there. Four six there would put one nine there, four six there. I can't put four six there. But that still leaves me with four spaces to put a four six. Let's start some colouring. So I'm going to colour those two cells yellow, those two cells blue. And see if so these are the high low power. I don't know which is which. I'm just actually I'm not going to use blue because I normally use blue for low and I don't know that's low. So I'm going to change that to purple. So can I discern anything from this? Well, I can color some more of these. Because if this is a yellow 1-9, this is a purple 1-9. So this would be a yellow 4-6, because these must alternate. This would be a yellow 1-9. This would be a purple 4-6. So if this is a 9, this will be a 4. So this will be the high, this will be the low, and vice versa. This will be purple. This will be yellow. This will be yellow. This will be purple. I was hoping that would give me three in a column or something, because there's always two of a colour on these lines. I am going to change all the purple back to blue, because I think I'm going to have to use some colouring, which is speculative. to see what, should I have started over here? I've started here, I'll keep going, because this is where I had all the pairs. I don't have pairs over here. So I've got to put a blue four six in there. Wait a minute, that's a yellow four six, because there's a yellow four six there, there's a yellow four six. This is yellow and four and six. Okay, I've got to put a yellow one nine over here somewhere. Can I get more colors is the question. Like, if there's only two in any box, column, row, That could be a blue one nine. 
So there's a yellow 4-6 in here. Because there's a yellow 4-6 there and there's a yellow 4-6 there. But it could be in any of them. Okay, so what happens if these are yellow? So there's a yellow 4-6 somewhere down here. So what happens if these are yellow and this is the yellow 4-6? So I'm going to use green for yellow because this is speculative and purple for blue. And this is why I changed it back to blue because purple is normally my speculative blue color when I'm solving. So if these are green, so which I'm using is yellow, then this must be blue and these must be yellow. I have three blue I've got three blue, so these must be yellow, this must be blue, that gives me three yellow, so these must be bl sorry, blue, and they can't be because now I have five blue in the column. So if I roll back the first thing I placed... And if you think that's bifurcation, you're probably not wrong, but it's, I think it's coloring. So if you're doing simple coloring to highlight around the grid, bifurcating with colors, eh, whatever, um, this is the way I solve. I can't look ahead. This puzzle is obviously, I don't know. But anyway, those can't be yellow. Those must be blue. So this becomes yellow. Because if I make those yellow, I'm going to end up with five blue in this column. So I now have three blue. Oh, that doesn't get me anything. But I do know this is not the yellow four six. This is yellow. So the blue one nine can't go there, can't go there. So the blue one nine is somewhere there. So the blue one nine is somewhere in here. But I know nothing about this side of the grid. Okay, so let's look over here. Because yellow one nine. But I don't know enough. Can I get more over here? Now I ran into a conflict with way too many blues in this column. This puzzle is tricky. Because I don't think I can use the three or the two for anything. The only thing that seems restricted are these fours and sixes and the possible colouring options. But I'm not getting enough... Like, if that's blue... Those are yellow, but there's nothing else in this column, so that's not giving me any. These become yellow. That's not giving me anything. So this column, I think, is the one that is most restricted, because if I put anything in there, it's going to lock it out. So, which is the most likely to cause a problem? I honestly can't tell. So, if I put blue down here, that's going to max out both yellow and blue in this column, because I'll have to put a yellow here. Let me show you, I think. If I put blue there, that becomes yellow. I now have three yellow and four blue. So these become yellow. This becomes blue. If 
three blue, three yellow. No, that's not doing it, is it? Okay, let's look at this a different way. Is there something I can do with the 4619 now? Like, maybe knowing the colours may pinch 4-6s in some way. So, for example, I, know, oh, I can't put 4-6 in there. But maybe there's a colour... So yellow 4-6 can't go in any of those. So it has to go in one of those. Which means one of these is going to be the blue 1-9. Well, it can't be there. So that can't be the yellow 4-6. So that leaves those, but that's not enough. Yellow 4-6. This is a hard puzzle. I don't see what else I could do. Okay, so this can't be a 4-6. This was the most restricted row. This can't be a 4-6. Because if this is a 4-6, it'd have to be yellow. This would have to be a blue 1-9, and it can't be, because there's a blue 1-9 there. If this is a 4-6, that's fine. If this is a 4-6, I can't be. This can't be a 4-6. So these now have to be a 4-6 pair, because this was eliminated by the fact that it would have to be a yellow 4-6, and I can't put a blue there. So this is now blue, this is now yellow, and this is now blue, because this 4-6 sees that 4-6. This is now yellow. Okay, that's given me something. This is a 4-6, so this is a 1-9. And I now have the yellow 1-9 here. Which means yellow 1-9 now can't be here, here, or here. It has to go into one of those two. Is that enough? And let's keep looking at blue 4-6 maybe. Blue 4-6... has to go in one of those four, but if it goes in one of those two, that has to be a yellow 1-9, and it can't. So I can take it out of there, and the blue 4-6 goes somewhere up the top here. Which means in this box, that's the blue 4 the blue four six because I can't use the top row anymore because it's up there. I can't use the bottom row, and there's those two looking at it. So that becomes blue. Does that... Uh... Uh... So I've now got two blue here. Uh... I... So I can't put another 4-6 up here. I need to put... I really don't know. Yellow 4-6. Yellow four There's a yellow 4-6 here and here, so there has to be a yellow 4-6 in one of those two because this cell is now blue. That has to be a yellow 4-6. Yellow I've now got all the 4-6s here. Yellow 4-6 in this box is in one of those two. This is a yellow 4-6. One of these has to be a blue 1-9. And I can't put a blue 1-9 there. So that's not the 4-6. This is the yellow 4-6 because that cannot be a blue 1-9. This is crazy. So that means the yellow 4-6... Oh no, it was blue that I put up here. But the yellow 4-6 needs to be in one of those two. So now we've got blue... 4-6 up here, yellow 4-6 down here. 
We've got yellow four six in there. Can that if that's a four six, can that be a blue one nine? Mm, yes. I think so. Blue four six, yellow four six, blue one nine. So I need to put yellow four sixes in there, yellow four sixes in there. I've got all the others. Blue four six there. Blue four six there or there. Blue four six in there. And in this box, blue four six in there. Wait a minute, in this column, one of those two has to be the blue four six. I can't put the blue four six up there. I can't put the blue four six here because of that one. I can't put the blue four six there. It has to be in one of those two. Whichever one of those is the blue four six, this becomes a yellow one nine. That's a yellow one. Why does that keep happening? This is a yellow one nine. Yellow one nine is now up here. None of this is putting anything on these, I was about to swear, on one of these lines. I really feel like, oh, hang on. Yes, that one did. That's blue. That's yellow. How did I miss that? I've now got three yellows. They're both blue. These are both yellow. Oh, it's not quite enough. This is a 4.6. This is a 1.9. This is the blue 1.9. So the blue 1.9 is in one of those two. Hang on. So blue 4.6 is now in one of those two. Because blue 4.6 is not here and not here, and this is yellow. So blue 4.6 goes in one of those two. If this is a blue 4.6, this is a yellow 1.9, and it can't be. This is a blue 4.6. I now have three blue in this column and three yellow. But that's, hang on, I, one of those two had to be the blue 4.6. That was right, wasn't it? Yes. That is now a blue 4.6. And now yellow four six has to be there. This is crazy. So this is a blue one nine. I hope people are following this because this is melting my brain. Um, this is a blue one nine. This is now yellow. This is now blue. I now have four yellow, so these are both blue and this is yellow. Not enough in these columns though, but this is getting me somewhere. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yellow four sixes. That is a yellow four six. I have three yellow and three blue in the column. So one of those is blue and one of those is yellow. And which, uh, I know that one of those is the blue four six. I'm not going to do that, but I do know.
So there's a blue 4.6 somewhere there and a blue 4.6 somewhere there. So what am I missing up here? I'm missing a blue 1.9, which can't go in either of those, and it can't go there. Does that have to be a blue 1.9? Can't go there. These are yellow. These are all full. That's not a 1.9, and it can't go there. This is a blue 1.9. So that's now blue. So this is now yellow. So this is now blue. I now have four blues in the column. These become yellow. This becomes blue. I now have four blow, bl blows. Four blues in the row. This becomes yellow. This becomes blue. This becomes yellow. I ask again. Yeah, Tolkat, you can understand how someone who can set puzzles like this could come up with a constraint like lock outlines because... Just stunning. Now, if I put a 4-6 on the line somewhere that I have completely forgotten to resolve, because that wouldn't surprise me. Not that I'm seeing. So, yellow... Yellow 1 and 9. So I've got that one, that one, that one. That one. So it has to go up there, because I've got that one. Here it's got to go down here, and here it's got to go somewhere on those two. Hang on, in this box, it's got to go in one of those, but these, I can't put it here, and I can't put it here, and these are the only, uh, I can't put it there. So the only place that I could put it is those two, which knocks out that one, and this becomes a yellow 1-9. Which means it must go down here. Um, I've already got the blue 4-6 here. I need a blue 1-9 in here, but I could still put it in there. I know that one of those is a 4-6. I may be going down a rabbit hole that's wrong here. So a blue 1-9 has to be here because it can't go here. Oh, no, it could be. No, oh, no, it can't be there. Can't be there. That's yellow and that's a 5. This is a blue 1-9. I've got to put ones and nines in this row. Can't put it there. I can't put the blue there. So blue one or nine has to go up here. So this is the other blues. Hang on. Oh no, I've got the yellow one nine. So the blue one nine is up there. The blue one nine is in what? one of these two because of those and it can't go there. So this is a blue one nine. This becomes a blue one nine, which I'm going to put in before I forget. But this means this is yellow and this is blue. I still need to put a yellow one nine and it now must go there because every that sees that and that's already a four six. I now need to put a yellow one nine in this row, which has to be here. This is crazy. Blue four six is still in. Actually, no, it's not because I had it into those cells. Blue four six, blue four six. That is the blue four six, which means that is the blue four six. I now have four blues in this box, so that becomes yellow. Have I done all the whisper lines? I think I have. So 4619, I need to put a yellow 19 in here still. And this is the only spot for it. So this becomes blue. 
I now have four blue in the column, so this becomes yellow. I have four yellow in the box, so this becomes... Three is blue. Three is blue. Sorry, I... <laughs> I, 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 uh, um. this is two puzzles in a row where I feel speechless. Three is blue, which means I, I could start putting a whole heap of digits in, but I think I'm going to try and finish the coloring. But what I do know is low digits are blue. So I can go up here and make that blue. I now have four blues. So I'm going to make that yellow. I've got four blues in the row. So that becomes yellow. I've got four blues in the box. That becomes yellow. I have four yellows in the row. That becomes blue. Four blues in the box. That becomes yellow. Four yellows in the row. That becomes blue. Four blues in the column. That becomes yellow. Four yellows in the box. That becomes blue. And that's the whole grid colored. Now, Let's see if I can finish the ones and nines and then I can do it all at once. I need to put a blue one and nine in here. That's one and so in this box I've done all the ones and nine the one nine four six. Here I've done all the one nine four six. Here I've done all the one nine four six. One nine four six, one nine four six, one nine four six, one nine four six, one nine four six. All the one nine four sixes are done. I can select all of the one nine blue and make them one because blue is low. I can select all of the four six blue and make them four. I can select all of the one nine yellow and make them nine. I can select all of the four six yellow. Misclicking does not help this. My hands are actually shaking and make them six. My hands are literally shaking from this puzzle. Okay, so these are the boxes that are most constrained, but I'm going to start at the top left because that's what, as an English speaker, I tend to do. So I've got one, two, and four. That's a three. These will become seven and eight. Um, there is now only a two missing. I'm not even paying attention to the German whispers. This is seven and eight. That becomes a three. Uh, this will be a two, three. I'm assuming I'll need these German whispers at some point. This is a 7-8. This is a 7-8. This is a 2-3. This is a 2-3. This is a 7-8. This is a 7-8. Because the 3 is going to give me something, I'm sure. And then I'll use the German whispers to... This will be a 7-8. This will be a 2-3. This has to be a 2. So this has to be a 3 this has to be a two, this is a three, and this is a two, that makes that a two, and that a three, that a two, that three, that two, that three, that two, that three. Okay, so now I've got seven eights all over the place. So what I'm looking for is probably a seven that would be forced next to a three. And there it is. If this was a seven, that would be next to a three. So that is an eight. Both of those are seven. That's an eight. That seven is looking over there, making that an eight. That is seven. Do I need another one? Ah, there it is. That's an eight. That's a seven, that's a seven, that's an eight, that's a seven, that's an eight, that's a seven, that's an eight. That seven is seeing that, which makes it an eight, that a seven, that an eight, lucky seven, and that finishes the puzzle. That is incredible. I felt like I was just stalled in the middle of this puzzle looking for those four, six 
pairs and how the coloring all worked. And then at the end, it just falls into place. Tall cat. Yeah. Um, puzzles being sent out by setting giants. Um, again, thank you for letting me do this puzzle. Thank you for asking me to do this puzzle. Just <sighs> wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yeah, uh, if you've liked the video, please click the little thumbs up button. Um, definitely go and uh, yeah, seek out more of Tall Cat's puzzles because um, wow. Um, and this is I I yeah two in a row. I feel like I I'm that's a great puzzle. I I wish I could set stuff like this. I really do. I mean, I think my puzzles are good, but these are really good. Um, there are elements to this that remind me a little bit of my puzzle scarabs, but this is, yeah, this is very, very good. Oh, well, um, thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, uh, I will try and have another video for you in a couple of days. Um, Hopefully I'll have more puzzles of this caliber that I can solve. Thank you very much. Bye all.